Good afternoon. James's doctor appointment this morning went really well. He just has eczema. Like it is irritated by the drooling. Um, what we had worked the hydrocortisone and the antifungal helped it because it was tackling the inflammation. Um, but yeah, closer look at it today by the doctor. Straight up eczema. Oh no. He may be waking up from his nap. It's his first crib nap here. I put a binky in there to see what he would do if this happened. <laughs> so he is totally awake. He's doing a little bit of self soothing. Um, he's not upset, he's just hanging out. I, I just want him to get comfortable in that room because we do plan on transferring him out of the bassinet soon. So we've been doing a nap in there, or at least trying to. Um, just to get him more comfortable spending more time in there, whatever. So I might have to go get him. But yeah, he has a new lotion regimen that we're gonna be doing twice a day with this, with this lotion. I'll show you guys the brand later. New body wash. Um, basically nothing with scent can be used on his skin from now on. Um, not, not even if it's natural. Um, so yeah, I really liked the doctor. It was my first time meeting her. Um, so yeah, we're in sensitive skin <laughs> overdrive here. Um, luckily, he hasn't shown that it's it's brought him any discomfort, the rash. Um, but definitely, definitely happy to have like a new plan moving forward. Okay, now he's upset. I'm gonna cook dinner. dinner tonight. I am just frying up some onions, potatoes, red pepper, and a zucchini, and some coconut milk, salt, pepper, garlic, some soy sauce, and I'm going to add this leftover coconut curry that we got yesterday to spunk it up. So basically just making new veggies for the curry that we got. You may not be able to see it, but it's flirting. There's a frozen water falling from the sky. Jamesy boy's in his stroller. We're going to Fleet Feet to pick up Peter's shoes. Hey and he's gonna run away. Ah. Lomo box opening sequence. They're really similar to the ones I've been running in now, the 26s. I've had the 24s, I think, that's when I started. I think so. 24, you really 25, like these shoes. 26s, now 27s. So um, I think this uses a different gel foaming than the last model. So, uh, I love the color. We'll put up, put 45 minutes on tonight. You match the bugaboo. There you go. There's a nice anthropology. It's almost just like Jimmy's bird. Sarah, what'd you just say? But I didn't know the perfect dress existed until today. Look at this. Beautiful. Nice. Here is the music box theater. They are having some in-person screening, so we gotta check out their schedule. It's familiar to us because of the movie The Vow that we love. No, it's 
Something else for me. Oh gosh. So I used to work on Grace in Southport and I haven't been here in a while. I did not work at a nail salon though. It was called a little bit of this and it was a monogram boutique and I was basically like marketing, social media design, also worked in the shop. You During jack college, jack I, yeah, I did get paid, but it was an internship. It was a very strange time of it in our life, I feel. But I always like parked over here, so it's funny to like come from this direction. We were just passing by Steingold Advertising and Deli, and we're gonna have to come here on one of our Fridays for like lunch. They got fresh pretzels, house cured lox, hot and cold sandwiches, smoked pastrami, mat matzo ball soup. Yum. Look at that logo, that bagel. We gotta come back to the music box oh, theater. Cool. It's $11. Okay, $11. It's, we're limiting right now the to 50 people for the 750 seat at a time. Cool. 15 people for the seven seat. And then they also have some things that are streaming. So we were just telling Christina and Grant about the empanada place 5411 that we saw in Wicker Park the other yeah. day. And we're like, we have to go there on a Friday. They have a vegan one? Oh great, we can come here like right now. Is it ratatouille? Well, they have one here in... Lakeview. Yeah, right here. Beautiful building. We're, and then we're just, we're, we are a little bit of a walk to Christina and Grant, but we're definitely closer to them than our place, right, right by the music box. I saw this, I was like, where did I just see that? Deliciousness. Baked empanadas, we're coming here. Yeah. I'm about to go in there and just get a coffee. Because it's Ooh, freezing. Hello. Okay, okay. We, on we, we couldn't stay out. Ooh. Look at this date smoked bacon goat cheese empanada. We got two dessert ones and they have a way to order online. They gave us this magnet. And I got a cup of joe. And this baby is sleeping like a weirdo. <laughs> He's a dweeb. It's so cozy. called 5411. Look at this cute little outdoor seating it even has. We'll for sure be back there, right? Oh yeah, like we're gonna go there this Friday. <laughs> this place looks fun. Yeah, Classes, camps, and it's program. So we're passing by this pizza pub that always pops up when I Google pizza around here. And they have a dog menu. All items include a small scoop of peanut butter. That's cute. Could she come in on the inside? Like, she I don't know. These are the two plants we picked up for Christina and Grant. Dropping them off. And we'll crash in your evening. I crash my party every time. We're gonna step up our game after we see some Broadway and Halstead floral shops because Christina's rocking it right now. Oh, it's a big yawn. A big yawn kid. Oh. We're home now and someone's in their bouncer. Do you love your bouncer? It's opening my home. <laughs> <laughs> so we picked up some ho-hos. And what else did we get? We got pepperoni chips and gardettos. Those are plant-based? Yes. And we have How Much Mother on. And he loves his butterfly. All right, I do have those delicious new running shoes, but I'm being a baby today and it's late and cold. And I am supposed to be incorporating strength and conditioning workouts. My 50 mile training block calls for it once a week. So I'm like shifting my running to do it, make sure to prioritize while it's cold during the day. Um, and I'm gonna do my strength and conditioning video tonight, but I do need to incorporate those more than the 50 miler, just because the research I've done for world marathon, the seven marathons in seven days, 
is more about like overall core and leg and aerobic base buildup and strength um, rather than just miles on the legs for this feat. For the 50 miler, it's more of like on your feet, but the seven days to be able to recover and bounce back within 12 to 18 hours, it's that overall holistic base. So second week or third week of like really hardcore 50 miler training and finally getting to do um, starting my strength and conditioning videos. Time to get really sweaty. One hour later. I did it. That was one of those. I've almost always only ever been a runner. I've never done like strength training, with body, like weightlifting or anything like that. So, cause I don't do this consistently and that's gonna be a, the biggest challenge in this new training block is to add that consistently every week is that's gonna be a game changer for me, big challenge. But I do feel better. And then I'm excited tomorrow to get out and break in the new Keanu 27s by A6. I love them. Well, I've loved all the previous Keanos. Let's see how this one works out. It should be fine, it's just the new model. Alrighty, so we are getting ready for bed. Peter's actually doing a little bit of job searching, sending off some resumes, um, but I did not want to forget to show you guys the cream and body wash that our doctor gave James today. These are just samples, um, but this is the brand. We also got a body soap bar for him. I am going to order full size um, versions from Walgreens or Amazon. Hopefully this does the trick. I am going to be taking this book into the room. Get some ideas for some food coming up for Mr. Jamesy. And I am going to do the daily message. We have some special birthdays today, April 21st. My best friend Lauren and Peter's brother Michael. They both have their birthdays today. Do anything but let it produce joy. Walt Whitman. Look at this perfect angel. He's perfect. Alrighty, I'm going to sign off by myself. Um, Peter's getting a bottle ready for James. I'm about to change him, get him situated for bedtime. Um, we actually have an early morning tomorrow. We are going to go to the south side and hang out at my mom's house. I have a dermatologist appointment, um, but more, more on that tomorrow. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.